Hello everyone. It is a couple days into moving into my townhouse. Almost everything moved in and today I am going to start putting together my sewing room, which I'm really, really excited about. But I want to show you the layout because I'm really excited about it. Before I begin, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and you'll be hearing more about them shortly. He has the nighttime zoomies right now and he's going crazy. But this is what I'm working with. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace and I thought I could just have storage. And then this is a really heavy L-shaped desk that I'm gonna start building. So right now I'm taking all the pieces out for tonight and then I can start building it and nothing can get done really until this desk is done. So I think my plan just for this night is to line up the pieces from A all the way around till the end so that tomorrow when I come to make it, they are in the right order so it's easy to find things. So I'm going to do that tonight. This was just one carload full of stuff that I was bringing over and it is not all of it. <laughs> Hi, it's been a few days and I am all the way moved in sewing wise. My sister, so we started building the desk together and then she kind of took over and built the whole thing and I really like it. So I'm gonna show you the desk and then I'll show you the whole room, <laughs> which is a lot of stuff. Isn't she nice? It's a nice L shape so that I can kind of move back and forth. I can be sewing right here and then I can turn around and serge something right here and it fits really well in this little corner of the room. Oh, I almost just tripped on my... So now I have the dresser, my dress form, my nice desk, and obviously you can see the mess that is all of my sewing supplies, and then all of my fabric bolts and everything in here. So it's a great big mess, and today my job is gonna be to kind of organize everything and figure out where it goes. I feel like I need a better storage situation though, because all I have right now is the dresser. There's like a drawer right there, and I have two of these Michaels tier cart things, but I don't think it'll be enough because I have a lot of stuff and you can never have too much storage. So I'm on the lookout for that, but for this video and kind of just for the time being, I want to organize everything as much as possible. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me now that I finally am all the way moved in. So let's get to work and figure out where things go. I think the biggest trial is gonna be figuring out where to put my hoop skirt. Um, Cause I've been having it hang up obviously but there's not really any good place to do that where it's not out in a noticeable area. So I'm gonna figure that out later. First, I wanna clear this off. I like that this has all of these drawers. I'm thinking maybe taking the lids off of these, because these are all of my laces, and maybe putting them in here. I don't know if they'll be too tall. They actually, lids don't fit, but the bins themselves do. Another thing I need to worry about is where I want to put these wings that I feel are delicate. I think I'm going to put a nail on the wall because I don't want to cover up this mirror. That's just where they've been hanging. So maybe put a nail on this wall. I think we have enough room. Cause then they can like just hang and it's kind of out of the way. Actually, maybe I should not do a nail. Maybe I should do a screw. We will see. Let me just see what I have available. I don't think I really have any nails, but my dad has a lot of screws that he left here. And luckily, he taught me how to do a screw in the wall. So I'm gonna do a screw that, in theory, this can just sit on. And as long as nobody bumps into it, it will be good. Probably should use that. Okay, let's see if I can do it. I'm nervous about putting holes in the wall. Mostly I've done command strips, but I need somewhere to hang this. And I feel like a screw would be sturdier than a push pin because I use a push pin at home to put my hoop skirt up and it always falls out. So I'm gonna do the screw. Here goes nothing. I'm nervous. I think there would be something there. Oh well. I actually didn't get as much 
much done as I wanted to do yesterday. <laughs> I stopped by hanging those up and I went home. But I did go to Joanne's. And I'm trying to, I have my thread things and I'm trying to like build up a thread collection so that I don't have to worry about it. So I got 12 threads yesterday because they were buy three, get three at Joann's. Basically I got 12 half off and we're going to organize them. And then I also bought things for a sewing project. So I need to clean up enough so that I can sew something, but it might not be totally clean yet. I don't know, this video is really slow. So let's organize these threads. I got an assortment and I think it will look really nice. I've had this one since I went to college last year. This one I just got because I have the room for it now. And as you can see, it just looks ridiculous with the small collection I have. So I need to shuffle things around. I guess I'll take them all out and redo everything. still a bit to go and I have all of these but I think it's a good start considering how expensive thread is like I was at Joann's and if it weren't half off I don't know if I would buy it from there it's like five dollars for one spool of thread which I think is just insane so try to catch it when it's on sale guys but that's my collection that I'm slowly building and I think it really looks satisfying as a rainbow and imagine how good it will look once they're all filled in it's gonna look amazing now we're gonna take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsor Squarespace building my own website has always seemed like a daunting task but Squarespace has made it very simple and wonderful for me to create my own online portfolio of all of the dresses that I've created and the work that I've done Squarespace is a website building platform that allows you to create an online presence of pretty much whatever your heart desires. Not only do they have a variety of website options to choose from, whether you want to create a blog or make your own online portfolio or even have a space for e-commerce, but they've also made it incredibly easy to do so with their guided step-by-step -step process and their user-friendly design. With Squarespace, you're also able to purchase your own domain with no hidden fees, and this way you're able to make a website with the perfect name for you. So go to squarespace.com for your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash alexandralouise, or use code alexandralouise at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to organizing my sewing studio. I think my next goal on the list of importance will be to set up my machines. Since the, the window is right here, and I'm usually on my sewing machine, I am going to put the sewing machine on this side, the serger on that side. Also, I also got this at Joann's. I have it in blue, this one. I also bought a whole bolt in black, and then I have this really pretty lace. I'm building a collection now that I have room for it. My problem is that there's an outlet down here somewhere but there's not another outlet and it's way over there. I don't even know if it will stretch all the way over here. I might need to go get an extension cord, but but for the time being, we will just set this one up. Just need to figure out how to untangle all of it. One second. I don't know how much of that was captured, but that was definitely a struggle. So they have like the little hole to put the choirs up and the outlet is right there. I hit my head, but the sewing machine is plugged in. Now we need to figure out this. I just don't think this can stretch all the way back down there. Hubert, what do you need, baby? You needy boy. I'm walking faith, but this is long enough. I don't even know where I would buy an extension cord at. Okay, let's see. Oh, actually, it might fit. Let's see. Did I get it? <laughs> Victory sign. You guys have no idea how big of a deal this is because for the past two years, every time I wanted to use the machine, this one was always plugged in, but uh, since I was at my kitchen table, I kept it next to the table. I'd always have to lift it up, put it on. This one, I always had to completely like put together every time I wanted to use it. This is so exciting, you guys, to like have them sit up and not have to move them anywhere at all. I'm so happy. I'm thinking I'm gonna hang this up now 
Um, I just put it right there for ease of getting it. So I'll probably do a nude wings and drill a little hole. Well, ugly, it seems practical to have it right here and practicality is better. So probably hang it like that. And I need to go get the drill and stuff. I feel like I've learned so much the past few days about construction. Like I'm such a pro now. Let me put that sucker in. Let me take it out a little. That's good. And then what I do to get it to the wall is take some ribbon and tie it into a circle. Perfect. Take the hoop skirt and just put it around the net, like so. I maybe put it a little too low, but that's okay. I think it looks good. Let me show you. So now it's really nice and accessible and it's just hanging there. And the door can still open all the way and it's kind of out of sight. Cause I mean, if you walk in, the first thing you see is the thread and the dress form and the wings. So it's kind of hidden, even though it's in plain sight. Now I don't know what to do about this shoe rack. It's really, really helpful for me. And I will just like shove random scraps. There's a couple of shoes I've run over, but for the most part, I'll just like shove scraps that I'm using when I'm working on something so that it's easy to get to, but it doesn't work on this door. This door won't close if it's on there. So I'm trying to decide if I should put it on there and just not close the door ever. What? You are so needy. Look at the way he sits. This is literally how he's always sitting. You're so cute. You're so cute. Anyway, I don't know. I need to make a decision though because it's just taking a valuable floor space. Another thing I'm gonna do is set up my ring light once and for all so that when, or when I need to use it, I don't have to take it out. It's kind of big, so I always had to have it put away, but I don't need to do that right now. So I think I'll put it right here for now. Then it's easier to access. Cause right now what I've been doing <laughs> is that sometimes I just accept that I'm gonna have bad lighting in my video because I'm too lazy to get the ring light out. Let's see, I think this goes on like that. It's always a little bit wobbly and I don't know why. See that? I can never figure it out, but that's okay. Plug this in and we can put it in the corner. And now whenever I need to use it, it is readily available to me. Now we'll tackle this. This is kind of my junk bin where I put miscellaneous things. These actually just fell out of that shoe thing. As you can see, it's kind of weird flowers and stuff. These, I bought these months ago because I was going to make Harper's Wizard of Waverly Place marker dress and I haven't done it yet. I still am going to. So it's like things like that, my steamer. I'm gonna utilize these carts to put things. I need to do this project. This is reminding me that it was a good idea. My sewing studio is fully moved into, so let me show you the finished product and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I brought in these lamps that, I don't know if these are their permanent spots, but walking in, first thing we have is the hoop skirt. And then I have one of my rolling carts. This is just kind of where I'll throw things that I'm using in the moment. And then also I won this contest several months ago by Charlie D'Amelio and I won this Cricut maker thing. I just finally picked it up for my grandma's where it was staying at. So I haven't used it yet, but it's really pretty on my desk. This is a project I'm working on right now. Of course I have all of my things. I really wanna hang this up eventually, but I just don't know where yet. I have my sewing machine. Sometimes I will put my scissors in this little guy. And then we have another rolling cart. Again, this is where I keep my dress for now and it's the perfect space. And then we have my favorite dresser and I'm, in, I'm just in love with how it looks 
looks like. Usually I just have clutter on here, honestly, because I just shove my projects there. And then we have the ring light, my wings, and then the closet is still kind of where I've dumped everything, but it's a great place for me to put all of my bolts of fabric. Right now it's, like I said, a little bit messy, so I still need to kind of clean this out, but I'm basically all moved into this room and I'm really proud of how it looks. And <laughs> there's my other cat, Arthur, hiding. He always hides behind my dress form. For those of you that wonder where I keep all of my dresses, I'm actually keeping those out here in the coat closet. So I have my Barbie Rosella one hanging up right now and I have been too lazy to unpack all the rest so they are still in bins. But I need to unpack them and hang them all up because I have a pretty big closet to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and liked watching me organize my very first sewing room. I'm really happy with it and it's been so great for me to have an actual space to work in other than my mom's kitchen. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye!